Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how I made my custom DIY metal brake. So as a little context, I made this brake to use for my personal project, which was making a custom PC case. This brake is based off Bob's brake from his channel, I like to make things. And I really couldn't have done it without that video, so thanks for the guidance on that. To explain, this metal brake is composed of four main components. This is the base, where your material sits on top of, uh, while there's another piece that clamps it down. I'm making this out of a metal angle that I cut from a square tube I had lying around, and I'm gluing that onto a 2x4. Then we have the top plate, which I'm using a 1 inch metal angle, which I got from my local hardware store. And this piece really just holds down the material you're trying to bend uh, via some wing nuts and two bolts. The next core component is the bending assembly and the hinge, which forces the material to bend in a certain direction. And lastly, I need a leverage point which I'm fastening to the bending surface to gain the leverage that I need to bend the metal. To start off, I had some square metal tubing sitting around in my garage, so I decided to cut this up and turn them into two metal angles. I cut them to a length of about 18 inches, and after cutting those pieces out, I found that it was a lot of labor and wasn't really worth the effort. So then I needed some pieces from the store. So I got two quarter inch bolts, some wing nuts, and the hinges that I needed for my assembly. I had some 2x4s laying around, so I just cut those up and used them for the base of the brake. And the levers. To put everything together, I got some scrap pieces so the hinges will sit on a different plane. It raised the edge to about 3 8 inch, then glued the metal angle to the 2x4. I then drilled two holes for the bolts that I have to stick through the base, and started assembling the hinge to the base and the bending surface. I had to pop the pins out of the hinges to flip the direction that the hinges were sitting on. So currently they were like this and then I had to readjust it so it's sitting flat like that. This was to ensure that the bending surface was as close to the base as I could make it so it would leave less room for error. To install the 2x4s as a lever, I used some screws and screwed that into the bending surface. I also had to cut out the top plate in which I used a 1 inch metal angle. I filed down the edge where I was going to drill and I drilled a hole so the bolt can stick through and be secured by wing nuts. For the specific bend that I wanted to accomplish, I wanted to have it flat up against the material. so. The way I did that was I tried bending these uh, pieces a little past 90 degrees and beyond that I clamped it down and I started using a 2x4 as kind of a uh, buffer and I used a ballistic hammer to just kind of like start forming away at the edges. I found a pretty decent result with this but there was also a little bit of warping with the material and I'm not exactly sure how to fix that yet, so that'll be for a different video. You can find some videos of that project right here on my channel, and if you're interested in my journey of just designing and fabricating and making things, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.